today let's make goat pilau i am excited for this recipe you are really going to love this i'm going to show you how to make the best goat pilau at home as you can see it is super moist and i love my pilau moist not dry and i also like serving it with some vegetable salad on the side this is a very very simple recipe i've listed all the ingredients in the description box down below don't forget check on that so without saying more let's get started so the first thing we're going to do is to boil our goat meat so here i have 700 grams of fresh goat meat this has been cleaned and cut into smaller pieces i also have here some whole spices so i have here some bay leaf cloves and cardamom and also we're gonna need some salt so you're going to take your big cooking pot like this and then you're going to add your goat meat follow that with the whole spices salt and water so you're going to add water that is going to be enough to boil the goat meat so i've added about four cups of water also the reason why i'm using much water in boiling the meat is because we need the broth for making the pilau later so now you'll quickly mix everything together for about a minute and then you're going to cover your pot you let this cook over medium heat and until the goat is tender and once that is ready you just remove it from the heat and as you can see our goat meat is ready so for the next thing we are going to remove the goat meat you're going to separate the goat meat from the broth so just remove that goat meat place on a different dish and then place it aside we we'll need it later for our pilau Here we have our broth it smells so amazing so just place it aside for later so this pilau doesn't require much ingredients so here i have some onions i've nicely sliced them i like using a lot of onions when making my pilau i also have some nicely minced garlic and ginger and also we are going to use some pilau masala so this is ground pilau masala i like making mine at home but since today i didn't have some time i'm just using this top bot which which is aromatic and has a nice fragrance so make sure you have nice pilau masala so another thing of getting the best pilau is to have the best rice and i am using basmati rice i like making my pilau using basmati rice it makes the pilau come out so so good so the thing you want to do is you make sure that you wash your rice until the water comes out clear so don't forget to wash your rice at least wash it about three to four times then you're going to let this rice soak in the water water it will take about 10 minutes before we cook it so now for our next step is to start cooking our pilau so you'll have a pan like this you place it over medium heat and then you're going to add some vegetable oil use enough oil this will prevent the pilau from sticking at the bottom of the pan once it has finished cooking so next you're just going to add the sliced onions and then you're going to saute this for about two to three minutes or it may even take a longer time because we need the onions to be a bit darker like dark brown and that dark color from the onions is the one that gives you a very nice pilau color and also it gives you a very nice fragrance so once the onions are browned you immediately add the minced garlic and the ginger and then you're going to continue sauteing this for about a minute or until that raw smell from the garlic is out so before i forget to mention some of you like cooking your pilau with some tomatoes so i will recommend not to use any tomatoes or tomato paste when you're cooking any type of pilau because tomatoes will actually make your pilau go bad real quick and also authentic pilau doesn't need any tomatoes this is a secret i got from a swahili person from mombasa and it has really really helped me since i started making pilau so next you're going to add the pilau masala and then you're going to continue mixing that while cooking until everything is nicely fragrant and at this point your kitchen will be smelling so so good so next you're going to add the meat quickly mix that for about a minute or two or until everything is well incorporated now we're going to add our soaked basmati rice so slowly add the rice and then once you're done you're also going to mix everything together this will take about a minute or two before we add our water in the broth
so now everything looks great you're going ahead to add the broth that we reserved earlier from the goat meat and i'm also going ahead to add some water so you're just going to add liquid that is enough to cook the rice don't add more liquid which will make your rice soggy and we don't want that so just make sure that you check your water level so quickly mix that and also at this point you can adjust salt if you want so continue mixing that and then at this point i'm going to let this boil uncovered for about two to three minutes so i'm just going to let this water boil until it's almost over and once it's almost over and you can see some bubbles on top this is the time you're going to reduce your heat to low and then you're going to cover your pan you're going to let this cook until the rice is done so just make sure that your heat is on the lowest level possible so that your rice cooks well and it doesn't burn at the end and so our rice is ready our pilau is ready i'm telling you it's smelling so so good it looks so good and i'm telling you it tastes as amazing as it looks so just go ahead and give it a quick mix i like mixing it before i serve it so that everything is well combined so for the bay leaf you'll just have to remove it because you don't want to serve that So now this looks ready and the good thing with pilau is to serve it when it's still hot or warm. So I like serving mine with some sauce. I can just make some meat sauce on the side and also with some vegetable salad. So for today we're just serving ours with some vegetable salad. So just go ahead and plate it. The meat is tender. The rice is super flavorful. You will love everything in this pilau. So guys go ahead and make it. I hope you make it for your friends. I hope you make it for your family. And as always if you make this don't forget tell me how yours came out in the comment section down below also don't forget subscribe for more of my amazing recipes we can always connect on instagram or on tiktok at fields underscore kitchen so till my next video guys bye